Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back starting my final No Spend September update. Um, I've still got one week to go and then I am done. It has been so bloody hard. So I'm going to sit down and show you what I've picked up this past week. Also show you my food shop and I got fuel for the first time this month. Um, I got it on the 10th of September because I remember that because my fuel total came to £10.11p and, and that was the date and I thought that was really cool. And when I got off and I drove in my car, I forgot to get the receipt because I paid at the pump. And it says, would you like a receipt and stuff? And it was so windy that day that I forgot to get the receipt. So, take my word for it, I spent £10.11p. And and so, going from that point, I have found... I have put off putting fuel in my car for so long because I just didn't want to do it. It's an expense that I didn't want to have to take out of my bank. Um, I know it's only £10, but still, I found that I've been walking a lot everywhere. I have also not paid for car park. As of at this moment, I have not paid for car park. So I've been parking at Friends and walking into the city. Whether that will take me half an hour or ten minutes, like that's what I'll do because I hate paying for parking. It's a grudge of mine anyway. Um, so I think in that respect I've done really well because I used to think, ah, sod it, it's £2.50 for two hours. But in retrospect, when I'm only having £5 budget a week, that is a lot of money. Um, and who wants to pay £2.50 to leave your car in some concrete? Um, but albeit, again, the weather hasn't been that bad, so I've been able to do that. Whereas if we're in December and it's really cold, then I probably would have paid for parking, if that makes sense. So, I am aware of my spending in so many different areas now and I don't see it as disposable. I've never seen it as disposable but even more so I think about it now. So that is parking. Food shop wise, um, this week was low cost again, £28. £28 and 71p. I did get chicken and the price of strawberries have gone up because they're not in season so little things like that I noticed as well. Um, I don't know if that is going to focus. There we go, 28.71. So yeah, happy with that. I think things in my cupboards a lot more as opposed to just stocking up the pile. Like instead of having three different flavours of couscous, I've used them up and then I've put on my shopping list the one that I like the most or the one that's going to go with meals that week, if that makes sense. Um, if, you, if you don't watch me, I do have quite like a collective personality, which you will soon see in the books I've got to show you. Um, so I've been using up those sorts of things. I've been going through the freezer and using those up. Um, and I also buy things when they're on offer in Aldi. So um, the Super 6, they had Easy Peelers on offer and they had apples. Um, I've used all the Easy Peelers and I haven't used the apples. I don't know why. So instead of going out and buying additional fruit and then letting something go off, this week on my supermarket shopping list, which I'm going to do today, I'm not going to buy any fruit because I'm going to use up the apples, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to change my ways. I'm trying to stop waste and all of that. It's a learning curve and I feel like once I've finished it, I will be better for it. Some of the things I've brought, I wonder how many books you think I've brought in a week. I brought six. That's not that bad, considering how much I have been buying. Um, I don't think it's that bad. First of all, I'll show you some bits that I've picked up for P. First of all, I'll show you a couple of bits that I picked up um, in a charity shop for P. So they had an offer on, um, on their DVDs. It was three for one pound. I can't find the other one. Um, but I got the Tweenies and I got Kipper. This is something that I've been eyeing up online anyway. Three for a pound. So I picked those up um, and we've watched those already and they are great. And then I looked at the books for myself. In this charity shop that I went to, they normally do an offer, which is just ridiculously cheap. Five paperback books for a pound. What? Um, couldn't find any that I wanted, so she did these for me for 25p each. So I got two of these for 50p, which is just still so cheap. So I picked up Sophie Kinsella 20s Girl. I've seen this everywhere, but I always see it at 99p, and I didn't want to pay that price for it. So I'm glad I held off because I got it for 25 The spine is a little bit cracked, but I'm past the point of caring now. For how cheap the books are, I really don't care. 
Um, so yeah, I picked up a Sophie Kinsella and then I also got my first ever Marion Keys. I see this everywhere, so it must be a good book. Um, and that is The Woman Who Stole My Life. Okay, I'll pop that on the screen so you can pause it if you'd want to see what that's like because I can't be bothered to read it all. Throughout the week in a couple of charity shops I picked up three books, they were 99p each. Um, so I picked up a Jill Mansell, this is a brand new release, this was out this year so I'm really happy I picked this up. Um, it's based in Cornwall in the summer. It's just like a chiclet sort of thing. And that is Meet Me at Beach Coma Bay. So I picked that up. I got two Sophies from different um, charity shops. This one, they were both 99p. Um, this one is Wedding Night. And it says, it's all gone wrong with the man Lottie thought was Mr. Right. Then out of the blue, she gets a call from her first love. Blah, blah, blah. So I picked that one up. And then my other Sophie is a brand new release again for this year. So I've actually done really well with like new books as well. And that is Sophie Kinsella, My Not So Perfect Life. It just sounded really good. And this actually completes my Sophie Kinsella collection. I've got them all and I've never even read a single one of her books. But everyone on Instagram on, on here rave about her books. So whenever I see them, I pick them up. And finally, I've got Millie Johnson's The Yorkshire Pudding Club. This is about three pregnant women and their journey together. I've never read like a pregnancy fiction book before but it sounded really good i've had my eye on this for a really long time um but the charity shop had a sale and it went down to 20p so that's why i picked it up and it feels so much nicer just giving away 20p as opposed to giving away one pound and getting one p change and i always put that in the charity pot anyway but yeah so 20p for that my no spend september update so far it's just this this whole thing is basically just a massive book haul like books I've basically just brought books for England um, <laughs> I am enjoying it it is making me look at things in different lights and I do even though my books do seem excessive I do sometimes question like do I need this half the time I do buy it anyway um, but I just like to read and it's the small things in life and that's just what I enjoy to do. Some people like to watch telly, I like to watch telly, but at the moment I'm loving reading. So, next week, what am I hoping for? I'm hoping that my food shop is going to be low cost again. Um, my food shop has been low cost this whole month. Normally it's like 35 which I know is cheap anyway. But I'm hoping to keep it around the 28 mark because we are going away that following Monday. So... I don't really need to get anything because I really want to use up what I've got. So for argument's sake, I've got half a block of cheese in my fridge. Normally, I would then buy another one so I don't run out. Heaven forbid if I run out of cheese. I don't know why I do that. But I'm not going to buy any cheese today. I really mentioned about the apples. So I've made my food shopping list. Anything that I need to make my meals for the week is just a bag of mints, like a corn mints, which is £1.50. Um, and then just a tiny bit of fruit and veg just to see us through for snacking. And other than that, that's all I need. I do need to get some nappies. That's going to bulk it up by like £4. But anyway, I'm rambling. At the end of this video, I know that I'm going to sit down and say, No Spend September was a fail. It is in some ways and it, is in other, and it isn't in other ways. But I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next clip. Bye! So a lot of you ask as to how I keep my food shopping low cost. Um, I don't know, but this is what I've got today, and this cost me £35. Now, albeit, there's not many meals here, and I've actually got a lot of staples that I needed to rebuy. But I figured I'd just quickly give you an overview as to what I've got, and I will show you my meal plan, um, so you can see what I've already got in my cupboards. I've got a loaf of bread, I've got two of these desserts for Neil, which is for Fritter Rolls, which he likes, they're 89p each. I've got a pack of strawberries for pea for the week. Got one thing of butter, some marmite, some yogurts for Neil for lunch, as well as some sausage rolls. Um, I got two things of cat food for Rue, as well as two pockets of um, treats because she's run out. I've got some milk. I've got probably two pints left in the fridge, so I reckon one will just be enough now. Um, I've got some Coke for Neil. Four bananas for me and P. Cherry tomatoes for me to snack on. Big style honey yogurt for me and P to share with some fruit. Um, got some cotton buds and some paracetamol. Shortbread for Neil. And then I got some like baking, baking today and I don't actually have enough of both of these. So I needed to get those. So I've got self-raising and caster. And I needed granulated sugar. So I got those. 
Peas only got one portion left of Rice Krispies, so I got another box. Again, likewise with the pasta, we've only got enough for pea and not for myself, so I got that. I've got some mints for um, chili con carne this week. Smoky bacon crisp for Neil. Um, strawberry cones for Neil. I got myself a pizza, probably for next weekend when I can't bother to cook and make a mess. Um, I've got four pouches for pea to take away for puddings each day or for snack or lunch. Um, they were reduced to 50p as opposed to like 59 so I just got four of those. Um, I also got some snacks, so again this stuff here isn't normally stuff that I would buy. These were like 30p each, so we got cola bottles, milk buttons, banana shrimps, fizzy belts, they were all like 30p each. And then this was, I want to say 60p, and that's chocolate eclairs. Nappies were also on offer this week, so I want to say they were two ninety nine each. Um, so I got the six to take away with us because she's about to go into a six, um, and then I just got the five plus to stay at home. I got some toilet roll, and I also got a thing of cat litter. So all of that came to thirty five pounds. So this is my really rushed meal plan this morning. Monday we've got cheesy pasta, frankfurters, broccoli and garlic bread. Already got all of those ingredients. Tuesday, chicken nuggets, chips and sweet corn. Um, and I'm going to have mash and peas because pea doesn't like mash. Um, that's the day I do the school run for my friends boys. So we do a quick and easy dinner. Wednesday we've got chili con carne, rice and broccoli. Thursday we've got corn, noodles and veg. I've got corn chicken in the freezer um, and I've already got the noodles and the veg. Friday we're having a takeaway, we're having an Indian. And then Saturday and Sunday will just be leftovers. So that's just a little insight as to what I buy um, at the supermarkets. Um, like I said, I don't buy meat really, so that's how I keep it low cost. I know it's not very helpful, but just a little insight, this is what I have got. Hi everyone, so I am now back to film my final No Spend September update and like I predicted in my previous update, well and truly failed this task that I set myself. I just think I set the budget way too small and I went shopping quite a lot and I just brought things that I was really interested in. So in the last clip you saw I did a food shop that came to £35 so throughout the entire month that was my most expensive food shop for the week. Um, I think they ranged from 24 28 I think I did another 28 and then a 35 but I did get two loads of nappies for when we go away and I just got like loads of staples that I needed to go in my kitchen cupboards so I don't think that is that badly like I said previously I also throughout this entire month have only put 10 pounds in my car for fuel because I have been walking everywhere okay so charity shop number one there was an offer three books for one pound which is just really really cheap so I got two Jill Mansell obviously I'm trying to build my Jill Mansell collection so I got open house which looks like that and then I also got head over heels because it was three for a pound I also found this one by Katie Ford a Christmas feast and other stories I didn't realize that it had other stories so it's like loads of mini stories in one not something I'd normally get but to get the deal I had to pick another one so this is the one that I got Another one that I got um, is this one that I have already shown in a haul, which is by Lucy Diamond, Sweet Temptations. This is only 25p, so I couldn't leave it behind. And then these are various ones that I have picked up in the past week. <laughs> um, so we have got another Jill Mansell. This is one that I have got in my basket actually online, but it was cheaper in the charity shop, obviously. This is a, was it one pound or 149? I can't remember. Um, but this is Miranda's big mistake. Um, it is slightly damaged on the spine. What happened? It is slightly damaged, but I don't mind because this is one that I'm really interested in reading. And got a Christmas book that I see all over BookTube, um, and I've never and I've never come across it like in a charity shop. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm having that. And that is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren something. There you go, that's her name. This again is three stories, so each author has written a story um, and it's like festive themed and I just really wanted to read it so I'm really happy I've got this. Can't guarantee that I'm actually going to read it this Christmas, I'll probably end up reading it next Christmas. Um, but I don't think it's ever been read, like the spine's not bent at all, so I'm really happy with that. I found the October Book Club pick of the month. We have chosen to read The Girl With All The Gifts. Now, I wasn't actually going to read it because I'm worried that I'm going to get quite busy with Vlogtober. Um, and obviously I'm going away and all of that, but then when I saw it in the charity shop, I couldn't leave it behind. It just felt like fate. 
cute. Um, so it's a really, really good condition. Um, this was 99p, and this has actually been adapted into a movie as well. Um, I think it's quite creepy, which is why we've chosen it for an October pick, because obviously Halloween and all of that. Um, yeah, it says, the most original thriller you will read this year. I've never read a thriller, but I know a lot of the girls in the book club like reading, like, psychological sort of things, so we're giving this one a go. So if you're interested in reading that book, you can always message me on Instagram. Hello! Please now come in. You can always message... Do you want to sit on my lap? No? Careful of your bag. She's walking around with a bag on her... On her arm and eating a packet of crisps. Um... Yeah, fuck off! If you message me on Instagram, I can add you to our book club chat. Next one is Sarah Morgan. This is a summer read that I'll probably end up reading next year because obviously I'm now getting into like festive autumnal books. Um, and this is Suddenly Last Summer. Um, I think there's three books in the series. This is book two, but I believe you can read it on its own. So my first ever Sarah Morgan book. I see her books everywhere, so I just wanted to pick it up. Um, again, this was 99p. And then I got two Sophies. So I have got The Undomestic Goddess, which sounds really, really funny. I really like the sound of this one. This is 99p, as was this one. And this is Remember Me. This one's not really one that I'm really interested in. She basically wakes up in hospital thinking she's 25. Um, but she's actually 28 and she tries to piece back what happened, I think. Not really something that I'm hugely interested in, but I just wanted to get them all because I now basically own all of her books. So that is Remember Me. As you can see, those books alone have taken me way over the £5 limit that I set for myself. But then this next item took it way over anyway, and that is a proper tripod. Now I found this in the charity shop. Never something I've ever looked for because it's quite niche. Um, this goes to my height. I'm five foot five and it goes to my height. So you like you can tell it's a proper one. This is from Jessup's. Um, it's quite old. Um, I googled the model and I think it got released in 2008. Um, but like I just couldn't believe it when I was with Ellie. I was like oh my god tripod. Pointed it out, set it all up and I just I couldn't leave it behind. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it because I'm currently resting this on my bookcase. But it's just, I think it's a good staple that every YouTuber has and needs, and my current tripod is quite small. Um, so it's like a proper professional tripod, and if I ever am fortunate enough to get like a big DSLR, which I probably don't need and probably won't ever get, but if I do ever get one, this is capable to hold that and frame it properly, and this thing here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, where is it? Look, I don't know if you can see, but this, let me... So once it's set up, you can also wind this up as well. See? And then you can tilt it and all of that. It's got the um, level and then this mount you can remove as well. I just love it and I couldn't believe I found it. And it was only £6.99. Obviously this in itself took my limit way over my £5. But I just couldn't leave it behind. So that is my haul for this week. And I have now finished with No Spend September. It hasn't gone very well when it comes to spending because I have spent over my budget but it has made me look at things differently so I haven't been going to Poundland, I haven't been going to Home Bargains, I haven't done any of that because I know the temptation's there and I do look at things in a different light and think do I really need it, I know I'm a little bit obsessive with the books but in other things I really do look at things. I also haven't brought any food so if I'm out and about and I'm hungry and I want a snack I make sure that I bring something with me um, which is something I used to do when I was on Slimming World and then now I've sort of stopped doing it quickly grab a packet of crisps or quickly, but, or quickly grab like a sandwich or stuff like that and I don't do that. I have brought one sandwich once but I used my boots points and I only get the one pound sandwiches anyway but because I used my boots points it didn't cost me anything so it's just looking at things in a different light and seeing how you can be cost effective I'm really pleased with my food shop how they've been really low cost I mean using things in my cupboards using things in my freezer so it's just changing that mentality of how you shop and how you buy and how you save as well so even though I've spent money on books it's money that I have technically had left over from shopping if that makes sense. I'm definitely going to continue using this mindset from here on out and just 
keep trying to tweak it to work to me. I will probably do it again in the new year. Um, I definitely am not going to do it before Christmas because we've only got like three months to go. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed it. You'll have to leave me a comment below letting me know if you've done it, whether you're thinking about doing it this month or in the new year. Also let me know if you've saved any money. I know I've got a friend online called Kelly and she has started using her stockpile and I think she saved something crazy like £40 a week on her food shop because she's using up things that she's got and she's seeing things in a different light. So it's really interesting that other people are trying to implement these little things in their lives as well. So you'll have to let me know if you have. I hope you all enjoyed this series. I am sorry that I have failed, but I feel like I've got some really, really good deals and I just couldn't leave them behind. I'm rambling, I'm gonna wrap it all up. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye.